Hello and welcome to the Food Adventures channel. Today we're going to talk about Taco Bell and they're recalling the tacos of death. And uh, Taco Bell removed and discarded 2.3 million pounds of seasoned beef. Now, if each cow weighs about a thousand pounds, which I think is a good estimate, they just killed 2,300 cows, just lopped their heads off for absolutely no reason. They pulled the uh, 2.3 million pounds of seasoned beef from eateries in 21 states. I don't know which states those are. I hope it doesn't include Wisconsin because that would be bad for me. Um, I've only had Taco Bell once in the last month or so, so I'm not too worried, but this does seem pretty bad. After a customer found a metal shaving in a menu item, so they are putting metal in the beef, the fast food chain said Tuesday. Federal regulators were alerted to the problem on Saturday after three consumers, three, complained about metal pieces in Taco Bell beef. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, Food Safety, and Inspection Service said in a release Monday. Produced by Kenosha Beef in Columbus, Ohio, between September 20th and October 4th, the beef being recalled involves seasoned beef, taco, and burrito filling shipped on Taco Bell's nationwide. Unfortunately, I think I had a beef taco from Taco Bell, so I had one of the tacos of death. But since I'm still alive and I didn't see any meat metal within the tacos, I think I'm okay. Because it probably only infected a few of the tacos. I do not know why the metal was in there, but... They, it probably like some of the machinery got involved in the beef and that's no good. I'm not even sure if the states affected um, include Wisconsin, but I really hope they don't. So uh, Taco Bell restaurants in some states that reportedly were suggesting chicken or steak to customers as a beef substitute before the recall was publicly announced, prompting some to call out the company on social media. Yeah, dude, that's like bad. If you know there's metal in that beef, you got to recall everything. Just tell them that the beef is bad. The secrecy of what's going on makes me afraid ever to eat at your restaurant again. You know, the thing is, I'll probably be afraid to eat at Taco Bell for like another two months. And I'll be like, then I'll be like, damn, I want a cheap taco. So I'll probably still go to Taco Bell. Nothing is more important than our customers' safety. And nothing means more to us than their trust. Julia Messino, president of Taco Bell's North American division, responded. As soon as we received the first customer complaint, we immediately acted to remove the product from the affected restaurants and proactively worked with the supplier to inform USDA of our steps to protect our guests. See, the issue is Taco Bell is a franchise and a lot, some of the franchisers might not have wanted to pull it from their menu. So those franchisers were evil and they jeopardized people's health for their profits. Consumers with questions can call this number 800-822-6235 uh, or 800-TACO-BELL without the last L Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific time. Owned by Yum Brands, Taco Bell and its franchises operate more than 7,000 restaurants uh, across the globe. So here's the problem. See, like, since it's a franchising restaurant, um, a lot of those franchisees don't want to take the beef off the menu, like I said, and they'll jeopardize people's health. So that's a big, big problem. Taco Bell probably lost a lot of confidence from its uh, customers and consumers now, and I'm not really sure if people are going to be wanting to eat at Taco Bell anytime soon, but metal in tacos. Now, if you are a robot like Terminator, that would be awesome, but if you are a normal human being like the rest of us, no me gusta, no me gusta. All right, that is today's, um, that is today's news. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you, and have a nice day, and don't die of taco poisoning.